morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to sunny Winnipeg again. Got an email from a viewer who said something to the effect of uh, they had their first sunny day in August. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so uh, I guess I've been really lucky. Now mind you, that it's supposed to be rainy for the, later on today. And uh, uh, okay, we'll talk about talk about what I want to do today later. But didn't it seem like an awful long time to get through step 33, to finally get to 34? Uh, it, it was, uh, I don't, I don't know what, oh, that's, that's 45. Anyway, I won't page back to 33. We, we saw it for, what, two weeks? And I thought it was going to be so fast and so easy, especially being as we had already made uh, one of the railings, uh, I, think it was, I think it was this one down here. We, we'd already made that one. Uh, <laughs> and things never go as planned. Okay, uh, we will work on 45 today. As I mentioned yesterday, it looks like it's a, a lot the same as, as 43. Uh, you know, we've got more of these little... Uh, baskets to put on there they're actually they actually go on pretty easy um I, I was noticing and so did one of the viewers that uh the other baskets that i put on from in step 43 uh when you look at them up close you can see photo etch sort of like the paint is really thin or something i'm afraid to be trying to touch them up though because I, i'm afraid what's going to happen is i'm going to fill up the grating and right now yeah, when, when I look at those, like, like I'm looking at one right now, and uh, I'm looking at another one, and, and uh, I, I, am, I, I am not seeing any photo etch, you know, e even like this. Now, maybe if I put on my magnification hood, I would. But with the macro lens, if there's, if there's anything wrong, you're going to see it. Okay, we've beat that to death too many times. Okay, now, what's happened here is that the helmet has come and uh, <laughs> yeah okay this is it and uh, when I went on Amazon to you know to buy it I, I all I could go by you know I'd never put a helmet like this on before I just had my my bike helmet and uh, so what I went by was what people were saying about it, you know, the number of stars it got. It, it was, according to, to the Amazon at that time, it was the best, number one bestseller. <clears throat> Not necessarily yellow, but I got yellow so it would match my, <laughs> my yellow uh, safety thing. And uh, I, I want to be seen because I'm going to be going pretty slow compared with everybody else. Yeah, yeah, faster than the e-bike, but slow compared with, you know, the traffic. Uh, <clears throat> so, so I got this thing, and uh, I was trying it out a bit last night, and uh, you know, there's, I think there's more that I don't like about it than what I like about it. First of all, I like, I like the fact that it's yellow. I like the fact that it's strong. I like the fact that it really protects your head. When, when you finally get it on. What I don't like is it's, it, after the bicycle helmet, it is heavy. Holy moly. Uh, you know, I, I can see where if a person fell off your, their bike and had an accident, yeah, it's going to protect your head, but the extra weight of it's going to break your neck. I mean, if you're going to die, what difference does it make? You may as well be comfortable if you're going to die anyway. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm i probably going to hang on to it. I'm not going to return it. Uh, actually, the, the, I do actually have an honest, valid reason to return it. When you open up the box, in one of the flaps it says, read the instruction pamphlet. There is no instruction pamphlet. So I could tell Amazon that there were parts missing. <laughs> but I, but I, I, don't, I don't like to do stuff like that. Uh... So uh, I'm not going to return it. I'm going to hang on to it. And it, it, it is, first of all, 
The good thing is that it'll be nice and warm in cool weather because this this whole thing just well I'll put it on. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to show you me fighting to get it on because it's sort of an unwieldy thing and you got to spread it apart and get it down over your head and uh, I've, I've got the chin strap adjusted and then once it's on it's not bad but yes it's warm for cold weather but in warm weather it's hot and sweaty so I don't know how that's going to go over and I, I, I kind of was hoping for the, the oh another thing I don't like is it, it covers your ears and it, it really blocks your hearing. You'd hear a car horn, but you wouldn't hear a car coming up behind you like you do with a bicycle helmet. So I'm thinking of maybe getting one of those beanie type helmets. Find out, you know, one, one that's going to be uh, accepted by the, uh, uh, motor, the Department of uh, Vehicle Services or whatever, the, uh, the, the DMV here in Manitoba uh, for, for a scooter. I think that a scooter you do not have to have quite as heavy duty a helmet as you do for a, a motorcycle, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I want to find out. I don't want to have any reason to be stopped by the, by the police. Uh, right now I have a perfect driving record and have had for many years. There, there, there is, I have no record of any, anything uh, happening to me. I've got full, what you, I guess you call it merits. On your driver's license, you, you know, and that you pay less for your insurance if you've got lots of merits. Well, I got as many as is, you can possibly get, and have had for since driver's licenses were first starting to be issued. <laughs> uh, no, not that long. But uh, anyway, uh, this is it, and. Uh, whether we're going to get out with the uh, with the uh, moped today, uh, the scooter today, I don't know. Uh, right now it's sunny and bright, and I see blue sky. So, uh, and it depends also how I feel. It's uh, it's seventeen point four right now outside. That's not bad. So, uh, I I got to go mail a letter anyway. I was thinking of doing it on my e-bike, and. Uh, uh, Maybe I could ma use my scooter and do it. Uh, oh, another thing I've got to, I want to do is I want to, uh, r right now, the bike is sitting in the kitchen. That's where it's been for the, since I hauled it in the house here. And it's right in the middle of the kitchen. And, and yeah, I'd like to look at it, but then i got to walk around it. <laughs> okay. So I've got to sit on the bike, and I want to get my chest cam adjusted so that the so that it's low enough that it, the speedometer can be seen, but it's not so. But I don't want the speedometer and everything to be predominant in the center of the frame because then what what my camera does is it, it focuses in on that. It doesn't have a manual focus that uh, cell phone camera, so you can't lock it on infinity and you know. <clears throat> uh, I'm starting to get into details that nobody gives a darn about. <laughs> Uh, well, let's just see what are, what are we going to do here today. What are, what kind of plastic parts do we have to get? I I don't see. Oh uh, no, I'm I'm not seeing any any plastic parts. It's all photo etch. Oh boy, I'm thrilled. Do I look thrilled? Uh, you know, I'm not the only one that does not like photo etch. I'll bet you that the Kit manufacturers would be really surprised if they if they provided these things in two versions, one with everything in plastic and one with the photo etch detailing. They might be really surprised at how many more of the the other kind, uh, you know, the pl completely plastic, is being bought uh, because they it is possible to to mold stuff really delicately in plastic. The only bad part about it is that when you break or bend a piece of delicate plastic, it'll break, and then fixing it is almost impossible. Whereas with photo etch, if you bend it, you can straighten it back out again. So there's, there's that. Anyway, have I talked enough here? Let's let's get on. Let's get on with this today. Uh, may, maybe I'll put this on. I'll just, just let me. I don't know. Should I? So I put it on while you're watching, huh? Uh, okay. Here we go. It's it's really unwieldy. So. Uh, 
Maybe I'll have to crank the camera around here a little bit. Okay, now I, I, I got it on last night, so I should be able to do it today. Okay, so you got to grab hold of it. Oh, another, th another thing I don't like about it is that when I've got it on, it pushes in on the sides of your head a little bit. So I, I was having trouble getting my sunglasses in. Now the good part of it, about it is, is that it does have a, a sunshade that, I'll show you. Okay. Like I say, it's unwieldy and it's heavy. Okay. Uh, I look ridiculous, don't I? Uh, so anyway, this this comes <clears throat> will come down. Yeah, how's it go here? I gotta get used to it. I hope if I get it down, I can get it back up and I don't have to go and get the neighbor to call the fire department or something. Okay, we got that. Um, then there's a... Yeah, I, I can see where, uh, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll really break the wind, but, but for goodness sakes, I'm just going to be on a scooter. I'm not going to be going that fast. Uh. <laughs> oh my. Okay, now how do I get this off here? There's a release here somewhere. Okay, this is, uh, I, I got it off last night. Oh, there we go. I was, I was pushing the release the wrong way. <laughs> I was getting worried for a minute. All right, now to get it off, you pull the tab. Now let's not upset my coffee cup here. Okay, the baskets we already have, and it looks like we need two of everything, same as the last step. Um, okay, so we need, it says both sides, both sides, both sides. Okay, but on the, the it says both sides for, so I guess we need four of these, and they are number, number eights. I think I've got some already made, but I'm not sure. Can't remember. Okay, so uh, both sides, both sides. Yeah, every, everything is both sides. So we got to get two of everything. And it looks like about the same number. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think there was eight eight pieces of railing on the other on the other step, but and. There isn't anything that has any any round shapes that we have to form. Everything is sort of at a sharp bend, so it should it should work out pretty good. Um, that's a straight piece. It looks like everything is going to be bent except this one here, the C30, um, and that that will actually make the parts easier to put on. Oh, every once in a while I get reminded about the the fact that if you if I was to have made a template of the deck areas before I started assembling everything. Uh, I don't know if you remember way back when I did the Bismarck. I actually did that. I photocopied some, some stuff out of uh, Stefan's book on the Bismarck and it was already to one 200 scale so I had to you know tweak it very very little to get it to just exactly the right size for the model and and then I did do that. I laid railing down on the template on the piece of paper that had the drawing, and that actually 
worked really well. But I think I only did that on the Bismarck. I don't think I did it on the hood. But it's a good idea. And uh, if the Yamato comes, and I'm, I'm still thinking about it, seriously thinking about it, if the Yamato comes, I may, I may do that. I may find out, you know, cruise ahead in the manual and find out what decks could I maybe photograph straight on and get the general shape of it. Uh, it, it, but it takes a lot of extra time to do that sort of stuff. And uh, well, maybe in the winter time when I I can't get out on my scooter or e-bike, I'll be quite happy to find things to do. Right? Uh, interesting things to do, you know. Uh, and and this this is interesting, you know, for anybody that's maybe watching and they're thinking, "Gee, should I get into something like this?" It it's fun. It's a lot of fun. You don't necessarily have to go one two hundred scale. You know, uh, you can get the Yamato in, uh, in or in a lot of these ships you can get in uh, 350. And you're going to have a real impressive model when you're done. Really impressive. A lot of detail. It, it just won't be as big, that's all. Um, you know, there's pros and cons to both, right? Uh, yeah, th just because uh, I'm doing... 200 scale doesn't mean that that's, that I'm thinking that's the best or anything like that. I just, well, for, it's the best for me at the moment. Okay, let's let's get on here. Let's uh, get some tuna fish tins out and some labels made. And uh, uh, although there's not too many of these I could actually get mixed up. They're all distinctively different. So I, I don't know if I even need to bother with labels. Uh, yeah, they're all they're all different. I don't I don't think I need to bother with labels. Okay, the C fret. Most of the parts we need are on the C fret. Okay, so I know that probably everybody's looking at the clock in the background and you're thinking, what happened? Well, I think you probably know what happened. I was sitting here and I was looking out the window and the sun was shining and I knew it was going to start raining and I kind of had this hankering to be able to try out my scooter which I have done. Went well. Look, no bruises. No cats run in front of me, Peter. And, uh, <laughs> okay, I, I guess I should explain that. One, one of the viewers, uh, 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 Peter from Oscale Modeling, he, he's quite a motorcycle guy. And a cat ran in front of him, and he uh, had a bit of a crash. He's okay. The, most of you know that, because I think a lot of you follow him. Anyway, uh, yeah, no cats. <laughs> we don't have a cat problem here in in, uh, uh, in Winnipeg. And we definitely don't have a kangaroo problem either. <laughs> uh, Peter's from Australia, by the way. Okay, uh, what am I going to do here? Uh, you, you know, it, it's getting on. It, in fact, it's, it's 3 o'clock just by coincidence again. And... Uh, you know, I, I like to have my episode uploaded by and, and aired by five. Uh, I can I can hardly justify calling this episode the model ship anything, <laughs> let alone I think it's sixteen ninety nine, <laughs> and uh, uh, okay, I'm gonna need these. I'm gonna need this, but uh, anyway, oh. The uh, the bike ride, I'll stick it at the end of today's episode. <laughs> uh, oh, the sunrise we had, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, very plain, though. Now, um, yeah, there, there's. I think the ladders are on the E sprue, but all the all the railing, which is already painted with the Steinle res is on the C sprue or fret and uh, I don't know if I'm going to do any more today or not I'm, I'm still I'm still kind of excited from the way the earlier part of the day went uh, I, I think what I should really do is uh, color quits here uh, I sort of apologize once again for a rather disjointed episode uh, <laughs> um, there, there was something I was going to tell you and I, and I forgot right now uh, well 
I guess it wasn't important if I can't remember, right? If it was really important, I'd have wrote it down. <laughs> I, I, I should have a teleprompter behind the camera there and the, what I'm supposed to say scrolling by. <laughs> Uh, you know what, I, I think uh, uh, two minutes after three, I, I think I better call it quits for this afternoon. And uh, I'll try and do better tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so I told you that I would take you along for my first ride. Well, this is it. Probably about 15 minutes ago I brought it out, maybe 20 minutes ago, and I gassed it up. It's got about three quarters of a tank of gas in it. Now, I'm just using the same gas as I used in my snowblower. And uh, I started it. It runs really nice. If you want to, if you want to hear, it, hear it run, I'll just, I'll just start it up, because you're probably not going to be able to hear it with all the wind noise once I get going. Anyway, turn on the key, let the fuel pump prime. It has fuel injection, like a car, which is kind of neat. And I uh, have to squeeze the, squeeze the brake here and... Okay, it's running. That's it. Okay, I may as well just leave it running. I think I can get on better from the other side. That's the way I'm used to getting onto my e-bike anyway. I can throw my right leg over the... Well, not over, I guess through. That's kind of nice. I don't have to uh, have it up against the, uh, the step. Okay, now... <laughs> Now, I, I did get this thing on when we were at the model table. I should be able to get it on again. I'm kind of scared to give it the gas here.
They look great. We were having Timmy's at the table, and I said, there goes Ron, and you were rolling down the, the driveway, and... <laughs> This is not the first time you've been out on it? Yes. Oh, it is? That was the very first time. And you just did the block? I went around on Brett Bay and, and back. How was it? Uh, better than I thought. Is the balance as good as the bicycle or better? Uh, I think it's better at high speed. Mind you, I wasn't going all that fast, but uh, it, was, uh, uh, it was a lot smoother riding. Oh, a lot smoother. It was like a gyroscope, the faster you go, the steadier it is. I, I, that's what <laughs> I'm told, yeah. Looks fantastic. Yeah. Are you going to leave it outside or run it in? I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, uh, it's supposed to be rainy uh, later today. I might go out again. I, I looked at the radar uh, this morning. Going to take an hour's break and take it out again? I think I'm going to go out again right now. I, I, my, uh, my gloves came as well, you know those, those gloves that I ordered? Yeah. So my fingers are a little bit cold. I'm going to just try them out. It's, it's, it's a kind, of, kind of a cold wind. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay, I'll see if I can get off this thing. Get off like a woman wearing a dress. Yeah. Push down hard with your foot. There we go. Yeah. You push down hard, you don't really have to put any pressure on your hands. So you got to put the gloves on and go out again. Yeah, I might just go in and make sure that the footage I got is uh, is there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, oh, you you just got to back it out by hand and turn it around. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, quite easy to move around as long as you don't get it too far over center of gravity. But it's it's fairly light, you know. It's not like a a big a big motorcycle or something. I think it's maybe only two and a half times heavier than my e-bike, so it's, that's not that's not huge. Congratulations. Uh, well, thanks. I'm really happy. We'll see. Yeah, I'm happy for me too. We'll see you later. Everyone in the house here is very excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even yeah, even Missy the dog. Okay, you saw it. Uh, I think I'm going to go back out again, but I won't be wearing the camera, so. Fingers crossed. <laughs> now, very shortly thereafter, I did go back out again. And I was out for quite a while, almost an hour, I guess. And uh, I put about 24 kilometers on the odometer. And uh, I went down mostly really quiet st uh, streets at the beginning to get used to, you know, where there's stop signs. And, uh, yeah, I got used to that, doing that sort of thing. And um, anyway, then I went down a street where the uh, speed, speed limit was actually 60. And uh, now I'm talking 60 kilometers, right? So uh, I opened her up, and it was a nice smooth street, and uh, no traffic, and uh, I buried the speedometer. It was uh, reading over 60 kilometers an hour, and I thought there was supposed to be a governor on that thing that would keep it, you know, no faster than 50. Um, but you know what? I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing what four-point-something horsepower can do. Uh, <laughs> mind you, it, it didn't jump to that speed. It took quite a while to get there. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's much easier to ride than I thought it was going to be. It's, it's much smoother than I thought it would be, too. Uh, every, one, every once in a while, I get something where it would, the rear suspension would kind of bottom out, but for the most part, it, it took most of the bumps. Very smooth compared to the e-bike. I think I'm going to go out again. I got a letter to mail. I may as well do something practical, right?